everybody. Welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles because today we're going to divide some rational expressions. So, quick uh, recap, reminder, what is a rational expression? It is simply a fraction just with polynomials. It's a polynomial over a polynomial, just like this example with these two rational expressions. So we already did a video on multiplying them and we said the steps were, remember, the first thing we do, we just factor everything completely. Second thing we do, we combine it under one fraction and then we cancel and then that's pretty much it. We write the answer in the final simplified form and we're good to go. So dividing rational expressions is almost the same thing. We just have to remember one thing and that's how to divide fractions and I have a video on it. But if you don't remember, I'll remind you it's the same thing as multiplying except for one thing. We just have to flip the denominator or we flip the divisor, right? So. In this case, to solve this example, we'll change this to multiplication and we'll just flip the positions of this, we'll flip it. And it's, so it's almost the same thing as multiplying rational expressions as far as the process. All you have to do is remember how to divide fractions and do that little flip and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna rewrite this flipped and to save space, since um, to save space, I'm just gonna erase this and write the multiplication here. So x plus two over three minus x times x plus two over three minus x. And now I simply just do the same thing and now we're just multiplying rational expressions, right? So I'm gonna factor this completely. This looks like a difference of squares up top, so that can be factored. That's gonna factor to x minus three, x plus three x minus three, x plus three. I guess I wrote the x plus three first. It doesn't matter, the order. x minus three, x plus three. And if I wanna test this, I can foil it back out. I'll get right up to there. Let's see, I can factor this bottom part. This is a trinomial with a leading coefficient of one. So our a is one, right? So we can just look for two numbers that multiply together to give us six and add together to give us five. That's pretty, pretty simple. Three and two, right? Positive three, positive two, that'll work. So then I have x plus three, x plus two. And look what can already happen. I can already cancel a factor of x plus three on the top and bottom. That will cancel into that. So we're already in, in better shape than we were. Now we can go ahead and multiply times x plus two over three minus x. So now I'm just gonna combine this into one big fraction. x minus three, x plus two x minus 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 2 times 3 minus x. Now look, my x plus 2s can cancel. And now I have x minus 3 over 3 minus x. They're almost the same, but if you remember, there's a little trick we can do to still cancel them. They're almost the same. So what we can do, let's see, we have x minus 3 over 3 minus x. We're basically going to factor out a negative 1. And we can do that from either one of these. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to take out the negative one from the top one. So look what happens. If I factor out a negative one, right, this equals, I factor out a negative one. So then what happens? That Now that x has to be negative, negative x, and that three has to be positive. Because when I put this negative one back in, I want it to still be equivalent to this. And this is still over three minus x. But look, isn't three minus x the same thing as negative x plus three? Three minus x, they're the same thing, right? I can just switch the position. So these will actually cancel and I'll be left with negative one. So that's our first example. Okay, so this one, as we can see, is written as a fraction over a fraction, but it's really the same thing. We can rewrite it with the division symbol if we want. And what we would do is simply move this denominator up here, just grab it, put it right there, and write the division symbol there, and that would work fine as well. But I'm going to go ahead and use this, and I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to go ahead and write the multiplication, and I'm going to bring it up and flip it, right? So I have the x cubed minus 8 is now on top in the numerator, and then the denominator, I have x squared minus x minus 12, and now I can start the factoring process and, and simplifying and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and factor this guy. The x plus three won't factor, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's see, where, where am I gonna write all this? I'm gonna write it here, x plus three, that's staying there. 
And then we have, that's a difference of squares once again, x minus two, x plus two, right? Our a is x, our b is two. So we have the x minus two, x plus two times, I'm gonna go ahead and try to factor this. The top is a difference of cubes, right? So I need to remember my difference of cubes formula and I have a video on that as well. Uh, let's see, the a is x, and the b is 2, right? I have to rewrite them as things being cubed. x cubed minus 2 cubed. This is the a, this is the b. So I believe it's same sign here. So a minus b, and then it's times a squared, so that's x squared. And then same, this is opposite, and this one is always positive. This is gonna be b squared. And this, I believe, is AB. Let's see, so 2x. All right. Now I can factor this guy. It's just a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So A is 1. And I can just look for two things that multiply together to give me negative 12 and add together to give me negative 1, which will be, what will that be, negative 4 and positive 3. So I have x minus 4, x plus 3. And this could really be written over one big fraction. If I want to skip a step, I don't have to rewrite it. It's a multiplication, so you can simply just multiply across. And now I can see what I can cancel. This x plus 3, I can definitely cancel with this x plus 3. This x minus 2, I can cancel with this x minus 2. And I believe that is it. So my final answer is going to be this x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2, x minus 4. And that is going to be our final answer. So yeah, this is a lot like multiplying rational expressions. In fact, that's what you end up doing is multiplying them. You only have to remember that one trick with how you divide fractions. You flip the bottom or you flip however you want to think of it. You flip that and then you multiply across. And it's that same process. The first thing you do is you just factor everything completely as much as you can. Then you combine everything, then you cancel, and then that's your answer. It's not too bad. You just have to practice the factoring and be able to notice things like difference of cubes, that sort of thing. So hope this video helped. Hit the like button if it did. Leave comments and questions below. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. We'll make some more brain gains.